again, welcome to EVA 2023 report. We're again at the Lupult stand and we'll be looking at the new Lupult laser rangefinder binoculars. So this is the uh, BX4 HD range 10x42. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you probably have noticed in recent years, majority of uh, producers of optics went into a class of uh, Range finding binoculars in a specification of 10 by 42. So there was a lot of entry level binoculars from Vortex, from Delta Optical, from uh, Zig Zauer, from Kales, from a lot of brands. And now, normally, Lupold had uh, joined the, the bandwagon, but they chose to do it a little bit differently. So <clears throat> basically, they're offering binoculars which is a little bit more compact, sm shorter, smaller and has a, uh, I would say, longer range. This one ranges up to 2,400 meters, 2,300 meters, something like that, on a highly reflective surfaces, and with a, a little bit upgraded optics. So basically, they are a little bit better in terms of optics to all of those Chinese products which sell for around 1,000 to 1,500 euros. So what do we know about the laser range finding capabilities? Do they also offer some kinds of ballistics? No, unfortunately not. They only offer a true ballistic range. That means equivalent horizontal range. Um, and that's about it. They do have some wind technology also, yes. uh, which you are able to calculate outside of the binoculars. But in general, their proposition is that they are offering a smaller, more compactor uh, binoculars with um, with a little bit better optics than others. Where I think they will face challenges is that the price for this will be more than two thousand euros. And in Europe, I think they will slam directly into the Leica Geoid wall. Yeah, so we uh, already know there is quite a lot of competition in this price range, meaning yeah. that you need to, need to something, offer something extra. I think they price. will compete because they have really good optics and so on, but uh, honestly speaking, it's going to be much easier for them in, in, in the US than in the EU. In the EU, yeah. Yeah. In EU it's going to be like some people consider, should I go with the Geoids, the middle tier, or should I go with Lupo? But yeah. it is good that people will have a choice. That's a good, a good, uh, I would say, uh, situation here. Yeah, I can see we ha <clears throat> we have a very nice uh, housing. It's a yeah. rubber, meaning very sturdy, very compact. Uh, and the range is really long, more than 2,000 meters. Yeah. That's really nice. And it's compact. It's compacter than basically all the uh, range, um, laser range finding binoculars in the market at the moment, yeah. at least in my opinion. Thank you for watching the video. This is about the Lupo BX4 HD. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. See you in the next one.